50 years of volunteer, so it's a good part of my life. I'm doing a lot of things. I started in 1974 when I, when I was asked by the, a, a man called Jim Golden. Would I join him in the, in the box office, just, you know, give him a hand for a short time. So I said I would. I was a box office manager up to the time when the new opera house was built, which is 15 years ago now. I must say I've enjoyed it. I enjoyed every minute of it. I was on the board for, yeah, 40 years. I stepped down in about four years ago. Time to go, so Joe. <laughs> there was a train from Dublin on the opening night, and uh, I was, it was my job to meet them at the station here. At that time, it was a very big, there'd be the local bands, be welcoming the mayor and be there and welcoming them. We used to take them by, um, put them on coaches then and just bring them up to the Opera House, but we brought them along the quay uh, and stopped there for the opening and the fireworks. So it was kind of a community thing then. I think it was a festival that it wasn't just put on the town, it grew up. The, it, you know, it was developed by people from the town and then it developed from the town itself, the people involved. I think everyone enjoys, it's great, there's a great atmosphere in the place, you know. And there's a great atmosphere among the volunteers themselves. It becomes a kind of a, not just a community, but a, like a, the volunteers becomes like one big family. People have always felt, like the people of Wexford have always felt it was their festival. Rather than a festival that's on, if you know what I mean, than a festival that's on in Wexford. It's, uh, it's their festival.